Hi, my name is Chris Pate. I'm the Gaming Mouse Product Manager here at Logitech G, and I'm here today to talk about the new G502 Proteus Core Tunable Gaming Mouse. So tunability is really the core of this product. We uh, wanted to make sure that the gamers have the ability to set up the mouse exactly the way they want it. If you look at most gaming mice on the market today, they ship with uh, a specific set of parameters for the sensor, for weight, for balance, that is not adjustable. Um, but everybody games differently, everybody holds the mouse differently, everybody uses the mouse in a different way, so we wanted to give people the option to set it up exactly the way they wanted to. We started out with the sensor, we have a brand new sensor that has never been used in any product before. And at its core, it has the ability to be tuned for the specific surface that you're using it on. So with the Proteus Core, major new feature is surface tuning. Uh, within the software, we have the ability to uh, select whatever surface that you might be using. And if you don't have uh, one of our pre-tuned uh, mouse pads, the G440 or the G240, you can tune your own surface, right? So if you've got a wooden desk, you can tune it to a wooden desk. If you've got a piece of white paper for some reason, whatever surface you might have. And the benefit of this is it allows you to get optimal performance out of the mouse with whatever surface you might be using. So you can get up to 300 inches per second of tracking irrespective of the type of surface that you're using on. So the way that this works is you go into this surface tuning uh, routine and I move the mouse around uh, on the surface so that I can get um, a picture of what the surface looks like for the sensor. And I'll just move it around for a few seconds and it's complete. It'll analyze it and a couple seconds later it's done and the surface or the sensor is now tuned to this specific surface. So the factory default works well across a wide range of surfaces. So you've got this white paper or you've got this wood desk or you've got the G440 or the G240 and they all work pretty well. But the generic setting doesn't necessarily give you optimal performance across every single one of those surfaces because every one of them has different reflectivity characteristics and each of them is seen differently by the sensor. So when you tune the mouse so that it's uh, uh, ideal for the G440, you get great tracking fidelity and, and great cursor feeling off of this particular surface. And you can still use it on the G240, and you can use it on the wood desk as well. But if you go back to the white paper, that doesn't track at all. And that's because the way that the light reflects off of the white paper is so different from the way that it reflects off the hard surface that you can't get tracking data off of that particular surface with that calibration. And it kind of goes to show you exactly, like I said before, how having a configuration that's specific to the surface that you're using allows you to get the best performance possible out of that uh, out of that surface and having a generic tuning set up for all the different surfaces you might come across really to a certain extent will impede the performance of the mouse across whatever surface that you're using it on and to get the best performance possible out of the surfaces you're using tuning gives you the the, the sensor settings that are that are pretty much perfect for whatever we want to track on. In addition, we've uh, improved the weight and balance tuning of the product. So with our previous devices, we've had a weight cartridge that you slot into the product, which is good for changing the way that the product weighs, but it raises the center of gravity of the mouse to a point that some people find to be uncomfortable. So with Proteus Core, what we've done is we've got a magnetically closed weight door that allows you to insert one of our chevron-shaped 3.6 gram weights uh, up to five of them at a time, so you can add up to 18 grams of weight to the product. And you can put it on any side that you want, so you can change the balance of the weight, uh, balance of the mouse from front to back or from side to side. Uh, and you can make it uh, weigh more if you want to use it in a high DPI situation, or if you play low DPI, you can put none of them in, so it'll be uh, much lighter. Uh, it has 11 programmable buttons. Um, so you can set those up to be individual keystrokes or multi-key macros or just like regular mouse buttons. And there are three onboard profiles so you can store uh, whatever uh, macros that you want on the mouse and take them with you if you go to a LAN party or something like that. It has our uh, exclusive uh, dual mode scroll wheel which goes either free spinning or click to click. So you can use it for weapon selection or just make it uh, you know, spin for days. Still spinning. The onboard macros are controlled by a 32-bit ARM processor, which also allows the sensor to deliver a much higher performance. The shape of the mouse is based on our classic G500S design, which is a very comfortable shape that many people have loved for years. We've made a 
few modifications to it based on our observations of how people hold the mouse and where they actually contact it. Uh, and we've added uh, rubber grips on the left and right side to make it even more comfortable than it was before. So one of the last major improvements that we made to the product is to change to a individual key plate design for the left and right buttons. What this does is in instead of this, the standard monolithic key plate design, which can be prone to flexing or warping, this delivers a much improved key uh, button click feeling for the left and right keys, and it also makes the clicks more responsive and, uh, and more reliable. The left and right keys are rated to 20 million clicks each because you know we know that people play League a lot now, and, and that's mostly clicking and not much else. Clicking and raging is what you do in League. Um, this doesn't help you rage. Unfortunately, uh, you have to learn that on your own. Your teammates will probably help you with that. It has PTFE feet for super low friction. It's got a braided cloth cable for uh, extra durability. It comes with a hook and loop fastener so that it's easy to keep neat and tidy. Proteus Core is available for pre-order starting today on Logitech.com.